You ready? Good morning and welcome to Before Dawn in the Scottish Highlands. Now I've had the daft idea of getting out of bed to go to Blair Athol and watch the Caledonian Sleeper and a Tesco Freight. We're on our way now to Blair Athol Railway Station. From Blair Athol Castle actually, so uh, let's go. Oh no, the gates are shut. So this is Blair Athol Station and dawn is just breaking over the mountains to the south there. For the shot of the sleeper, I've decided to go up over the Fug Bridge and to try and get the, the sky breaking over the mountains there. But I would like to get the next train, which is the uh, Tesco liner, down by the signal box and try and get the uh, semaphore signal into the shot too, because that makes a, a really nice shot. But for this one, the sleeper, I'll go for a much wider view from the top of this footbridge. We're a cracking view of dawn in the highlands. Now, the train's not far away, I think it's just at Pitlochry, so it's uh, a few moments away. But we do get plenty of warning actually because there's a signal box and the crossing gates will close before the train comes. Now what a view, just have a look at this. The Tesco liner is about 15 minutes behind the sleeper. So I'm gonna to move to the end of the platform here and try and get the signal box to signal and that gorgeous dawn coming up over the mountains. Now I'm planning to get the locomotive just there. I want to get it just before uh, it gets to the signal box so I can keep the signal box in shot, the signal and these trees. Just while we're waiting for the train, the light is changing. The, the pinks in the sky have just moved over to the west, but there's still some lovely, lovely colours in the sky. So I'm just recomposing the shot just to go a little bit wider to get more of the sky in than I'd originally planned. So that looked good with the dawn light behind, but I think I've got my shutter speed a little bit too slow. The train was going faster than I thought it was there. Um, right, anyway, last night I came to the station and there were a couple of HSTs through. So uh, we're gonna have a look at those now, see what you think of those. Bit of phone footage and the uh, couple of shots that I got uh, last night.
you may wonder why I'm still fumbling around from the camera after the train's passed. Well, photographing trains at night can be a real challenge. You need a high uh, shutter speed to stop the train, which generally means then you have to bump up the ISO and end up with disappointingly noisy images. Well, a trick I pull is to take the shot with the moving train at the high ISO, but when the train's passed, take another image at a much lower shutter speed and allowing you then to drop the ISO down. And then I merge the two together in, uh, in Photoshop. And you generally can't notice that the train is just that little bit noisy than the overall scene. So once again, thank you for watching and from a cold, chilly morning in the Scottish Islands, I shall see you later. Bye.